and we're back to learning Inkscape and this time I'm going to show you an abstract art text effect. The effect isn't that hard to create but the results may vary. Let me show you why. I'll first create a simple text using the type tool. I use the default font and I make it bold. Let me set it up holding shift and control. I click on the X to get rid of the fill then I hold shift click on a black color swatch to give it a stroke. It's a stroke so we go to path stroke to path But it's a group for now, so shift Control g to ungroup. All letters are selected individually. I'll go to path and combine. And now you can see it's a path. So that's our starting point. Now let me create an ellipse. Something like this. I press Control d and copy it. So I've got two. I'll select them. And then I go to path and combine. So this is what you always have to do. Then I go to path, path effects for the text, click the plus sign, use pattern along path. Now I select the ellipses, control C to copy, select the text and then paste it. And you can already see kind of like an abstract effect. For the most part you want to use single and stretched. And the relative size of the ellipses makes a difference. So if I size them down and now I'll paste it again. Let me go to single and single stretched. And it has a completely different look now because I've simply resized it. Let me size it down further. Again Ctrl C to copy, select the text, single stretched and paste it. So this is what you have to do. And you can also make the group, so these two ellipses that I've created, a little bit more random. Let me show you how. So I create one, then I use the spray tool, use the first option right here. Under width it should be big enough to cover the ellipse but not too big. 20 is fine for me. Now I select this group and I use the tweak tool. Let me use shrink and if I hold shift I can grow them like this. So now I've got a random group of ellipses. I'll select them all, path and combine. And we have this effect. Again, the relative size of this group in regards to the text makes a difference. So this is way too big. The text becomes totally unreadable. So let me size that down. Control C, I'll select the text. Single stretched and paste. And again, we've got a completely different result. Play around with it, even smaller adjustments in the size make a difference. And in the thumbnail, I've given the text a fill color and then I gave it a stroke as well. So hold shift, click on a black color swatch and you'll get this effect. And as I can create this abstract text effect in Inkscape. I hope this video was helpful. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.